All right, KMR Kyle Mohan Racing at the shop, and I've broken out my Billet Ink 20B. This is a project I've been wanting to get to for a long time, and uh, we've actually started to come up with a plan where we're going to get to talk about this particular block and hopefully start to debut a new build in the near future. But if you're not familiar with Billet Ink, they are billet alloy rotary motors, um, just amazing builds. I think as the industry has evolved, rotary engines have become more and more popular in a diverse range of swaps, racing applications, or rotor configurations. And the progression of billet motors, like this one here from Billet Inc., uh, are a great example of that. And one of the things I wanted to talk about today is why this is becoming just such a great uh, viable option for multi-rotor motors. Um, not only are they stronger inherently by design uh, with increased areas for strength, um, they're also lighter by nature because they are aluminum in those side plates and the expansion rates under heat uh, expansion and contraction are a little better because you're using more similar materials. Although Billet Inc. is one of the manufacturers that does run a alloy uh, insert, so you've got a replaceable insert, which I do like in case you have some type of issue down the line, um, the majority of their side plates are aluminum. Um, and, and we get back to why I think this is a great thing outside of those reasons. Um, whether you're going full billet or not, the ability to go two rotor, three rotor, four rotor, or more is now part of uh, billet rotary uh, advancements. But you can also think about, in a lot of cases, like this 20B, 20Bs are becoming actually a very rare component. I've got one of the shafts down here. You can really only get the thick center plates or the shafts used at this point. They're not available new from Mazda. So companies like Billet Inc., by creating the thick center plates, gears, and although this is an OEM shaft, they also offer billet uh, multi-rotor shafts so you can get uh, three-rotor, four-rotor, or two-piece uh, 13B shafts allowing for higher RPM and multi-bearing configura multi configurations. Um, this has given consumers like myself, um, racers, enthusiasts, the ability to build motors that, whether they're complete billet or a combination of parts, we now have supplies in the world to recreate 20Bs and four rotors. And I think really that's one of the, the big achievements that uh, billet rotaries, companies like Billet Inc. have given us. And if you can imagine, you really could just buy a billet center, gear, and shaft, and then the majority of these other components could be based off of your traditional 13B components. And as you can see right here, we're actually using 13B rotor housings. Um, we were able to get those. These are uh, Series 5 turbos. They were on the inexpensive side by comparison to some of the others. And once you've done the machining, the blocks are fully studded. Um, it's, it's about using your money wisely and achieving the goals you want to out of your rotary engine builds. You know, so you don't always have to use a 20B rotor housing in a 20B motor. Those 13B components will work. And in some cases, even if you're using cast components um, around billet components or anything of that nature, you could sub in Cosmo 13B or even FD3S uh, front thin, sorry, rear thin or front plates. Um, and we've done that at Mazda Tricks. But I think, like myself, most people's goals are to get to this full billet configuration um, because that is going to give you the most strength and the most weight savings. So just really cool, really excited about this project. I brought it in, got it on the bench, and uh, looking forward to doing more with this. In fact, I'm going to grab one of the inserts right now, and we'll check that out. So here we've got one of our raw inserts from Billet Inc., and these are an alloy uh, 
great durability and it, it basically fits into your side plate uh, creating a modular design so if you ever did need to replace your face you could um, there's obviously other techniques out there in the billet rotary industry but uh, with this billet ink motor that's your insert configuration I like to send these out for WPC treatment um, adds a little friction reduction especially when, when we're running high RPM and high boost so again just really neat motors we're going to pop this apart very soon. Um, we've got a, a special car. We're going to be putting this in. And uh, I think it may even get wilder from this uh, 20B configuration because these motors, uh, you know, being billet, you know, we could always uh, take and uh, remove this thick plate, sub in some more thin plate bearing carriers, change our eccentric shaft, technically be on our way to a four rotor. Just looking at it a little more, you can see how robust these blocks are. And uh, like I always say, make sure to follow KMR. We're having fun, enjoying rotaries, talking about them, checking them out. It's all about the brap. Make sure to stay brapping. And you know what I'm always going to say? Hit us up, follow KMR, ask questions. I do my best to answer those back and sometimes they even turn into technical discussions so i'm gonna go do some work i'm gonna wrap on out of here we got some races coming up and uh, i got a lot more videos and projects to work on up and coming billet kmr new build in the works yeah i know i got a lot of builds going on that's just how we roll this is something i've been trying to get to i think we're gonna finally get to it real soon and I almost forgot. I've actually got some new KMR sticker packs coming out. KMR shirts. We're getting merch going again. So make sure to check out the KMR store, which I'll probably put a link in the comment section below. Let us know what you want to see. We can make some Brap merchandise. Got to get it going. Brap, Brap.